What's up, y'all? And good morning. It's your girl, Big Lady. And as y'all can see, I am outside. Um, it feels good right now. It's like 8 o'clock in the morning. And so I decided to go ahead and do me a video on gardening one-on-one. -on -one. Now, I am not an expert, y'all. Shirt wet. But anywho, because I was out here working out here. But anyway, I am not an expert, y'all. And this is my first year doing this. And it was a lot of trial and error. But, you know, um, it's going okay. Um, still trying to figure some things out. But I would love to share with y'all on ways on learning how to garden and um, saving money on food. Y'all, we're in, in the middle of inflation. And sometimes we got to do what we got to do to um, so we can be, eat. And feed our families. And gardening is a good way to get to grow your own produce. Your produce, your tomatoes, your onions, your garlic. I mean, anything that you and your family eat on a regular basis, it is so good to grow. So, um, I'm going to start off by saying that you have to look online and check out your garden zone. Um, the garden zone, it varies for different areas, y'all. I it, for those that watch my channel, y'all know I live in South Mississippi. I live on the coast of Mississippi. So, you know, our we get a lot of hot weather throughout the year. From like, what, about February to about September, maybe some summer, October, we have very hot weather. Like, even today, it's the end of August, but this we are in the peak of hurricane season as well, though. But, um, but yeah, so a lot of stuff that I grow, I can continue to grow because of the area that I live in. Now you have some people that live like in Chicago and that area, so it's starting to get cool. Well, not right now, but kind of like in the next month or two, it's going to start getting cool in those areas. So some things you can't grow then, or some things you can start to grow. Like a lot of your greens, you can start that in the fall. Um, your lettuce, your um, spinaches, your greens, and I'm talking about like greens, collard greens. <laughs> your uh cabbage um stuff like that that is good to be grown in the fall season um even though onions are one of those that to start in the fall uh, i started those months ago but onions take about seven to eight months to harvest um those are the longest but um yeah so i'm gonna give y'all a little tour it's not much to see but um I mean, it's enough. I can show y'all what I do have so far um, out here. Because, like I said, it was our first year. It's trial and error. Um, I know what to do next year. Um, come March, you know, people start their seeds indoors for about six to eight weeks. And once they, the seeds grow out, um, they'll plant them outside. And don't, so next year, we got a late start this year. Um, wasn't really taking it serious, but yes. Most definitely, we are going to uh, do better next year. Um, like I said, trial and error. So, like, if you're interested in growing at your own home, like me, I, I put mine in grow bags. You have people that make um, garden beds. Um, I rent. So, I'm going to respect my landlord's yard, and I'm not going to dig in it to put a garden in it. Now, I'm not going to lie. For those that know, my dog Nina died this year. So, yeah, she's buried right behind me. So, um, with some flowers, which you got some weeds in it, too. I'll show y'all. But um, we need to pluck the weeds out of there and get her another thing of flowers to put in there. But um, next to it is where we started our corn, which is just not coming up. It's just not uh, sprouting or whatever like that. So, that's the only thing that I have in the ground. They're both next to each other. I know you're like, you got dead dog next to the corn. We don't know what's in the ground. It, it could be some old, it could be some dead up in there with a corn if all I know because it's not my house. But anyway, um, I'm going to give y'all a tour. Uh, what I got, like I said, is not a whole lot. But, like I said, it's a learning process. I already got in mind what I'm going to grow once it started getting cool. Uh, so a lot of what I have now, um, I'm not going to be able to uh, grow it. Like, I got watermelon sitting over here in my window that needs to be repotted because it's growing out fast so um 
Without further ado, y'all, if y'all have any questions, y'all please let me know. I mean, start out, get you some, go on Amazon, um, get you some grow bags. What I'm gonna do is, is I'm gonna um, post the link to my Amazon um, thing. You can get uh, a guard. You can get your your grow bags on Amazon. You can get your seeds. And from my understanding, if you get EBT, you can pay for your seeds with that. Get you some seeds. Get you some soil. Get you some fertilizer. You little fertilizer right here. And they have some other fertilizer in the store that you can get as well. Y'all gonna look at me crazy, but I have three rabbits in my house, and they said rabbit poop is good, a good fertilizer. So yes, I put rabbit poop in my in my dirt too. So um um get you some mulch just to put it on top that keeps your uh soil moist. But other than that, that's like I said, it was our first year. Y'all y'all can get a start on like. Like I said, look up your garden zone. Look and see what's good for you to grow in your area right now. Um, Cause like next month or October, I'm gonna start on garlic. Cause garlic takes seven to eight months to for, to harvest. I don't know why it takes that long, but it takes long like that for onions and garlic. It may be a faster way, but that's what I've read upon. Also, do y'all research. Don't. Go based off on my word and my experience. Also, um, like I said, um, I'm going to put a link because I'm an Amazon influencer. So, I'm going to put my links to everything that I use out here. Um, so, y'all go right to it. So, if you decide that you want to start as you a garden or y'all want to learn how to grow um, vegetables and stuff, now is the time. And then all you got to do is grow it, y'all. Even if it's an abundance of stuff, y'all can preserve this stuff. You can preserve it. You can um, vacuum seal it and put it in your uh, freezer. So it's ways to store it if you have an abundance of it. You have some people that resell. I'm not interested in reselling. I just want to um, get what I need for my household, save what I need for my household. And if I have any extra, I don't mind giving it away. I don't mind giving anything away. Um, because like I said, I mean, I'm not trying to have a big, 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 huge garden. Um, but I do enjoy growing. So yes, I'm going to have the link to everything that I have, um, to my Amazon, um, page. So y'all can go right to it just in case y'all want to try to grow something. But like I said, first y'all need to look at your garden zone. Go on Google and type in your garden, garden zone. It's going to pull up the map of the USA and it's going to let you know what your zone is and what's appropriate for you to grow um in the summer spring fall you know throughout the seasons in that area you know so anyway without further ado first of all y'all excuse my yard because they cut grass last week but it's growing up because it's been raining and i'm gonna have to show y'all what my neighbors got over here but I don't know, I'm scared to go over there because y'all saw a snake lay, a little baby snake lay. We go like hell to the hell to the hell to the hell to the now. But anyway, but I'm going to zoom in on what they got growing because I can see it from here. But anyway, so this is what I got y'all. All right. So, pick up my thing. As y'all can see, this is our jalapenos. Which is really growing out, y'all. My son got a lot of them on there. Jalapenos, you can preserve those. You can slice those, preserve them. Um, these are the onions. Um, uh oh. Hold on, y'all. Let me take this out this stand. Okay, y'all, I am back. I am back. I didn't realize that it had cut off as I showed the onions, but, and I was just going through not knowing I wasn't recording. Okay, but this is another lima bean plant uh, my daughter started. This is watermelon, you guys. As you can see, it's like a little bug that make these little lines in the, in the leaves, but as it grows out there, I can cut those off. But this is watermelon that we're going to have to replant. This right here is a chili pepper plant. Um, that right there is bell peppers. As y'all can see, we got a couple of those. It's gonna be hot, y'all. When it's hot, 
it sags. The uh, leaves do that. Um, another bell pepper. This is my cucumber. Lima beans, which is ready to harvest right there. This is my tomato plant, y'all. I don't have any tomatoes yet, but I do have the flowers. They're starting to flower. So, tomatoes are coming soon. I'll give y'all an update on those. Um, another bell pepper plant right here. And look, y'all, this is our tallest and most producing plant right now. This is our okra plant. It's tall. Y'all, look at the flower on this. Isn't it pretty? Isn't it pretty? So, you guys, so before you get an okra, it flowers just like this. Y'all see the okra right next to it? So, once that flower falls off, it's going to look like these little ones right here. As you can see the wind blowing it, but you see the little ones right there. And it'll cluster at the top right there. That'll go and turn into flowers and also um, turn into okras. Like right here, the cluster there. It's different ones in different areas that's going to, you know, flower out soon and turn into okras. Like I said, it's our most producing plant. Like right now, those are little, but like in the next couple of days, they'll be big enough to harvest. Um, the one next to the flower, we'll probably be able to harvest that one tomorrow or probably later on today. And I wanted to show y'all what my, y'all look at my neighbors. Now they are Asian. I don't know what this is, they're growing. But y'all see that big old thing, right? I'm going to zoom in on it now. Y'all see it right there behind them leaves? It's two of them. They big, ain't it? Y'all, I don't know what that is. Cause we plucked one of them one day and opened them up to see what it is. It smelled like a cucumber. Looks like a damn... I thought it was a watermelon. Looks like a watermelon, but when we opened up a smell like cucumber and the inside looked kind of ugly. So, I don't know what that is. We ain't fooling with it. But anyway... Y'all, that's my little garden, and I'm sticking and I'm sticking beside her. I'm gonna stick beside her, but like I said, next year's on. Let me get from back here. Next year's on because I'm gonna know what to do, what to do, what not to do. It's probably gonna be still some trial and error, y'all. But I'm gonna still, still gonna do it. You heard? But anyway, um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. I really gotta get you to say that in the beginning because I always forget. Y'all follow me on my social media, my TikTok, Facebook, and my Instagram. I'm mostly on TikTok and Facebook, but not so much on my Instagram. Uh, also, follow my Amazon Influencer page. Like I said, the things that I talked about in the video, I'm going to have a link in there. But just in case y'all want to purchase those, you can buy those, start your garden. Also, do not forget to look at your garden zone. I'm going to say it again. I know I said it several times because a lot of times people miss vital information. Google your garden zone. It's going to pull up a map and it's going to show you what's appropriate to grow in your area based on the climate and the weather. Y'all have a blessed day.